Do you need to install the Apache web server on top of Ubuntu? Well, I'm Don Pazette, edutainer at IT Pro TV, and in this Linux how-to, I'm going to show you how it's done. Installing Apache on Ubuntu is actually pretty easy. We just have to know a couple of things, get a few packages installed, and then we're up and running before you know it. The first thing that I'm going to do is actually install the Apache package. So we do that by dropping to our terminal, and we're going to use the apt command. I do need to say sudo to get elevated privileges, and from there I'll say apt, which is the installation program, install, which is what I'm trying to do, and then Apache 2. That's the name of the package that Apache's made available from Canonical. When I run that, it's going to ask for my password to get elevated privileges. I'll provide that. And then it's going to reach out and find the package. Now, Apache actually has a number of dependencies that it's going to sort out for me. So you'll see a number of other packages that go along with it. I'll just say yes to all of that. And it's going to install the Apache web server. Now, technically, as soon as that's done, I've installed Apache. But it's not actually working yet, so I can't browse to it. It's not serving up pages. I need to get it enabled and up and running. So to do that, I need to follow this up with another command. sudo systemctl. Systemctl is what talks to systemd. It powers all the services that run in the background of Ubuntu. I'm going to tell it to enable, and that means I want this service to start every time my system boots up. Dash dash now, that means I want it to start right now as well. And then the name of the service, in this case, Apache 2. So that's going to activate it. And at this point, Apache should be up and running and ready to serve web pages. However, I might have a firewall blocking it. In Ubuntu, the default firewall is UFW. So I'm going to use UFW to add a quick rule. If you do sudo UFW status, you can see if it's running and whether or not web pages are being allowed through it. I see mine is running. and Ports 80 and 443 are not in there. So I need to open that up a little bit. So I'll say sudo ufw allow. And then I could do individual ports. I could say 80 slash TCP and so on. Or there's actually a package for Apache. So if you do a single quote, Apache followed by a single quote, when you run that, it's going to add some rules. And if you do sudo ufw status, you can see that Apache is listed in there by name. And that's going to let Apache communicate regardless of the various ports that it opens up. And now it should be up and running. We can verify that real quick by firing up a web browser and browsing to our own machine. So I'm going to launch Firefox here, and I'll just point it to HTTP colon slash slash. And then I'm going to use, well, I could use the loopback address 127.0.0.1. Or you could type localhost, or if your machine actually has a domain name, you could type that. Assuming everything worked properly, you should get the Apache 2 Ubuntu default page. That means that Apache is now installed and operational, and you just rendered this web page from your own system. And it tells you you need to go and put your web pages in the slash var slash www slash HTML folder. Once you do that, your website is loaded, and you are now the happy owner of an operational. Apache web server. Thanks for watching this Linux how to video. Check out the playlist below for more Linux videos. And don't forget to subscribe to the IT Pro TV YouTube channel.